What's up guys? Got a lot of stuff going on today. We're going to Academy. We're going to Anglers Pro Tackle. And actually no, I'm sorry. We're going to Academy and then we're going to Bass Pro to get some things. And uh, got a lot of stuff to do. So come right along and let's have a good day. All right, so we're here at Bass Pro. We're gonna run in here and see uh, what we can find and uh, see what we're gonna get. So we went to Bass Pro Shops today and got a ton of stuff. Well, not a ton, but we got a little bit of stuff. I'm going to walk in the kitchen in there because it's a bigger table. Throw it out on the table and show you what we got. Alright, so we went to Bass Pro today, got a ton of stuff, and I'm going to go through what I got basically. Um, I got a pile of stuff here and I'm having to push it out of the way just to get it out of the way in my receipt. I don't need that receipt. Alright, number one is the Buzz Toad from War Eagle. I'm going to pull this out of the package real quick just to show you. It's Buzz Bait. Put a toad on it, obviously. Has a cold blade. Has a pretty, pretty slim. I like the slim, thinner profile. Pretty excited to throw that. So, Buzz Toad, War Eagle. War Eagle makes some great products. If you haven't checked out War Eagle, they make some awesome stuff. And I'm gonna stick to, have another War Eagle product here. I got a uh, half ounce white gold War Eagle spinnerbait. I'll pull it out of the package real quick just to show you. If I can get it out, that is. I really like the white and gold, especially on a clear blue bluebird sky day. I've had tremendous luck with it. You notice this has the actual Colorado blade versus the regular leaf blades, which I like. We'll be doing a 
video on buzzbait trainers and buzzbait modifications here in the next few days. So look forward to that. And uh, that's part of the reason why I bought the uh, Four Eagle Buzz Toad. Now, also got a uh, hard tackle. This is a chartreuse and white, 3 8 ounce buzz bait. Just a simple buzz bait, nothing special. Has the longer tails on the skirt. Has your holes. Notice the holes in the blades right there. I've had tremendous luck with this particular spinner bait. And uh, we will uh, go over some modifications with this exact uh, buzz bait when I do the uh, buzz bait modifications video here pretty soon. Pretty cool. Good buzz bait. I've had uh, tremendous luck with them. Also bought some white zoom toads. You'll notice I went to, or I looked at the some of the other frogs, and I picked this zoom frog because it has this slimmer profile. I like how it's slimmer. There's other ones you can buy the bigger ones that have bigger legs, which will make a lot more action and are great. And I'll use them. Don't get me wrong, but if you're throwing this buzz bait around with a lot of wood or or uh, docks or anything, I like that slimmer profile better. It's easier to get in and out of things and move around faster. So that's why I picked that one. So that's the white zoom point toes. I also got some black. I'll yank one out real quick. Pretty much the same thing, just black. But you'll notice it has the slimmer profile. I like that slimmer profile a lot. Even if you're just Texas rigging this and throwing it in tight spots and covering a lot of times that thinner profile works a lot better. And uh, I've just had better luck with it. So, next, we've got a pack of the uh, Black and Blue Foot Cinco's, or Stinko's, they call them, but Cinco's, basically, I needed some. to run running low. And I also got a pack of Jumbo. Pretty good pack. That'll stop me up for a little while. I needed some. I was kind of low. So that, uh, that was something I had to have. Also got a pack of the uh, White and Pearl Swimmer Flukes from Zoom. I was a little low on these and I use these for particular presentations. I'll yank one out real quick just to show you. Most of you already know what they look like. Has your cutout back here. And I mainly got that to show you something for a uh, tip of the week video something that I do that, that's helped me out a lot. I got a 3 8 ounce California Crawl Chatterbait. I use the white ones. I use uh, Green Pumpkin and uh, Black and Blue. wanted to try a little bit different color. I'll try to get that skirt out there. So you can see it. But that's a new color I want to try it. Looking forward to it. And that's why I got that. Was just to try a different color with the chatter bait besides white, which is what I use mostly, or black and blue. Uh, I got two packs of uh, the old faithful black and blue skirts already pre-tied. And the reason I got these is we all know that I make jigs and and uh, I could put my own, I could make my own skirts. I can put them on, but sometimes it's easier just to buy these and have them already pre-made. I carry a few with me in my box all the time because you can tear and rip a skirt on a jig, on a buzz bait, or even on a spinner bait. And even sometimes when I Texas rig things, I like to throw a skirt on things sometimes and, and trim it up some. So I mean, it's good to have a extra set of, you know, what, what main colors you actually use, like black and blue, black and red, or, or green pumpkin in your box of skirts because there's many situations that you can use them in that are beneficial to you. Now, next up I've got this Spike It Garlic Pencils. And yes, I'll be having a video about these. That's why I bought them, but I also use them. But uh, nothing really to pull out there. Pretty self-explanatory. If you don't know, stay tuned to my channel. I'll be having a video about those here pretty soon. Also, once again, you know that I'm in jigs. I'm 
been making jigs for quite some time and uh, really kind of pushing away from, from making jigs and making my own lures to sell just because I don't want to limit myself. Um, but I was running low on black paint and I'm still making jigs for myself and primarily for myself and uh, I needed some paint so I picked up some of the Protect black powder paint because obviously you know I use black and blue a lot and black and red but uh, I still make jigs don't get me wrong I'm just not really pushing into doing it for selling them or for other people I've mainly just been making them for myself I really don't want to hold myself back from from uh, you know any kind of opportunity with the, with another lure company that might involve that I think I was a little low on uh, four rock hooks, so I got some Gamagatsu four rock hooks, just one pack. I needed some, and I was a little low on. I used quarter ounce worm weights a lot, and I got the Bass Pro brand uh, quarter ounce weights. Now, when I was getting the weights, I found something really cool, and this is the Gambler called the Gambler Brass Rattle Weight. is a quarter ounce. I'm going to pull one out real quick. I'm actually kind of excited about these, about trying these out. If you look, I can hold it right. That's just your traditional weight. Okay, just a traditional worm weight. I don't know if you can hear that in the camera or not, but it has a rattle in it. It's pretty cool. So I'm actually kind of excited about trying those out and seeing how well those uh, do here pretty soon. All right, last but not least, I was uh, a little low on four carbon. Got a pack of 12 pound red label cigar and I got a pack of 15 pound red label, label cigar. I really like the cigar red label. It's been uh, very good line for me. I haven't broke off like I used to with some of the smaller, cheaper diameter lines. And uh, actually some of these are the larger diameter lines I've broken off quite a bit with. I won't name name brands because I'm not here to bash any particular brand or company. I can just say that I've had tremendous luck with, with the Cigar Red Label. And uh, it's, it's done me well. And for now, that's what I'm using. And I really like it. And I'll continue to use it for now. So, uh got some uh, some more line for some reels that I needed uh, that's pretty much it I will have a uh, video about uh, buzz bait trailers and buzz bait modifications coming up here probably within the next week and uh, I should have a uh, tip of the week video and uh, hopefully if this weather cooperates I mean one day it's it's 24 degrees the next day it's 60 I mean that's Texas for us they always joke about it and say if you don't like the weather in Texas, give it a minute, it'll change. Well, that's true. So, which makes it really hard on fishing. But uh, hopefully I'll get to get out this week and fish a little bit, maybe a day or two, and uh, have something from that. But uh, if not, like I said, stay tuned. We've got lots more uh, videos and things to come. As always, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.